Hi guys, welcome to the unboxing and full review of this Tezoki Star Projector Night Light. Yeah, the listing on Amazon says Galaxy Light Projector is remote control and Bluetooth music speaker rotation ocean wave star light projector for adults, kids, bedroom, ambience, birthday party, home. It's listed currently for around $33 on Amazon. Has even uh, more discount yeah uh, there are a lot of these things uh, this one has quite good reviews there are a lot of complaints about such things not really working or dying fast so I will definitely do a full uh, review and then keep you posted how this works also on the long term I have already uh, reviewed one which then uh, not totally died but it got some problems so I'm not recommending to uh, buy the other one maybe this one is a little bit better yeah uh, here's the box by the way uh, yeah here's some description product name official product name uh, stop hat and play mode scan system of course originally coming from China here we get some uh, sample picture so let's get uh, see uh, what we get in the box yeah if you're happy you can leave a review then maybe some warranty um, yes yeah, so and a lot of description model DQM2 at least we get some uh, support hotline that's good so I'm going to show you the full manual as always so is uh, such cheap devices like uh, this thing here you cannot expect a home page and full support so that's the reason why I'm always showing the full manual to give you the opportunity to make a better buy decision or if you bought used without the instructions or you just lost the instructions uh, this could help you a little bit hopefully it's uh, sharp uh, focusing nicely and uh, yeah just go to the highest resolution usually 1080p and put it on pause on every page and you should be able to see everything yeah so here's the main light and here there are basically three things we have the light, we have the remote control and we get the uh, power cable or charge. I don't even know if that's working without the cable, but we'll see. Yeah, here we have the light. Yeah, it's not very sophisticated from the outside, not a real fancy one. I have seen uh, more stylish ones, but uh, anyway, let's see if this works. If this works really good and strong and reliable, then maybe we are better off with a, a good quality light. At least we get a nice uh, remote control. Yeah, with the last remote control uh, I got, I mean, that one was really simple. So this is much more sophisticated. You can see you have so many options here uh, already with the remote control. And we have these buttons here uh, where you can control these things. Here we have an SD card slot, we have the USB port and we have an off and automatic and just in the sound mode. So here's obviously the speaker underneath. So uh, for me at the moment looks very versatile. So I'm going to read the manual a little bit and then show you what it can do. So I've been playing around for a little bit and it looks like everything is working nicely so I wanted to show you a couple of things. There are so many options, yeah I really can't explain you everything and show you everything. I'm just going to click around a little bit here. What has also been working nicely is the uh, audio. Uh, yeah, I'm pointing the camera a little bit down here. You can see that I have, by the way, I have the thing on the side. You can see that here. You can put it on the side if you want to point it to the side. You can have it a little bit leaning like this. So yeah, this is really important. Sometimes there are a couple of devices which do not uh, work at all on the side. So here we have two possibilities. We can have it really straight, like 90 degrees to the side, 
we have it we can have it flat we can have it in 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 45 degrees angle so if you have it on the side and you want to illuminate the uh, almost the whole room uh, that's uh, really important that you have uh, like a safe place or like a safe stand here on the side so it has everything like 45 degrees 90 degrees uh, that's really good it was not visible at the beginning so i wanted to show you that so i'm pointing this a little bit to the side here so you can see also uh, what i'm pressing here i'm uh, yeah the light is here not too bright not too dark so i think you should be able to see everything the light here from the star light and also what i'm doing here by the way i've been connecting the thing to bluetooth uh, you can just turn it on you don't have to do anything you and then you go to your phone uh, go to bluetooth settings and search for the dqm2 and you can connect and it will confirm yeah uh, connected and then you can go to any sound on your phone and start playing like this thing here and it will go to the speaker here the speaker is not bad i mean of course it's not the ultimate sound but it has some decent bass sound as you can see or hear i mean it's not the greatest bass sound of course if you really need bass sound then you need something else but i think you can use that for playing a uh, sound or audio nicely it's not too bad but it's just a part of the whole thing so it's not only a speaker so the uh, part of the speaker of course is not really high quality but it's not bad so yeah i wanted to show you that here from the youtube and we can also insert like uh, mp3 audio files uh, yeah we can put them on a micro sd card and insert it here pins have to go uh, up and then we just push it in it's pretty Music easy mode. and it starts playing right away yeah that was pretty loud so you can control this thing here with these two buttons you can uh, go to the next uh, audio track or back to the last one and you can increase and decrease the volume by holding longer you can see you can go through the whole thing and based on the option then it will uh, do the uh, illumination based on the sound so here we have the different play modes we have now everything here you can see the bluetooth device is ready to pair yeah we are connected the bluetooth device is connected successfully music mode so you can see you can uh, cycle through the different uh, music modes here uh, here we can change also a little bit of the light I mean there are not too many options if you want to have the full options you need the remote control but at least we have some basic options here I think I have seen uh, even more yeah here we have the thing like the waves I think we had, can have then a different combination of everything hope you can see that I mean the wall is definitely not the best yeah I'm reducing the sound a little bit so hopefully you can hear me uh, and the camera of course is not the best I mean the uh, light is definitely stronger than what you can see here on the camera uh, yeah I'm trying to reduce the light a little bit so we can focus on the light for the moment so I made it as dark as possible but still the camera uh, yeah, is having some problems with this thing here to really catch the nice uh, red light here so i'm going through the whole thing here a little bit with the remote control so here we have the laser control you can see uh, how it changes the light and now we have uh, a lot of options here we have always five options here here for every buttons we have five options so I'm going through every one here so I'm pressing five times here five times here five times here and everything so it takes a little bit of time but this is probably what you want to see what uh, options we have so I hope you uh, keep watching here
Now second button. Now third button. So then number four here, I have a hard time to see what it is, uh, but I'm just pressing it. Then the second row, first button. You can see, I think in this mode it is uh, changing uh, slowly. Yeah, it needs a little bit of time, but you can see it's coming up with different things and like always for all the uh, different uh, projections we can go out of the laser modes so let's go no the laser comes back automatically so I think we cannot go uh, we cannot remove this thing on its own Yeah, I'm pushing now on the device itself, so it goes away, but when I click here, you can see it's coming back. This is just this mode, it's combination, uh, we cannot uh, change these automatic modes. These are really automatic modes, they are playing for like a minute or so, and then they cycle, I mean, they start over again. But you can see it's changing low, uh, slowly the stars. We have the green stars, then we have the whole light now a little bit changing. Yeah, the whole picture is changing the whole time a little bit, but very, very slowly. I think that's a sleep mode. And of course, that's intended that it doesn't change too fast. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm trying uh, the different sleep modes here. You can see the red one, green one. Here's one. Yeah, here's one without this center thing. Now, second button here. I don't know if you can hear that, uh, beside the music, sometimes when these things are moving, we can hear the uh, motor uh, which is used to uh, change this picture here sometimes. With some of the pictures, we don't hear the motor, it's stopped, And but for some of the things, when uh, these things are moving, uh, like I think especially the waves, when the waves are moving, then we can hear a little bit, but it's not much. It's really difficult to hear. Yeah, now that's the third button here. And that's, I think, the music uh, mode, so it tries to match the audio so I'm going back down a little bit to the device so you can see the device as well yeah different audio modes and then we have like a flash mode, something like that. So I'm trying this as well here. Second one. Third one. Fourth one. Yeah, can't even see how many there are. There are just a couple of them. So I think we are back on the first one. Yeah, here on the second row we have just two or three yeah three three modes here uh, for every button and here we have four 
uh, on the first row it's a little bit different and we have the brightness brightness we can uh, reduce I'm reducing the brightness yeah I'm going to a normal uh, screen I'm stopping the music anyway so we can concentrate on the light here so I'm going to the lowest setting here from the brightness now I'm starting to increase one two three four five yeah I think that's it uh, there are about five levels we are on the brightest one now let's go down uh, again to the lowest setting it is not extreme uh, difference between the lowest and uh, brightest setting but I think if you have a dark room uh, the brightness is good enough and yeah when you want to turn it down for sleep a little bit as well you can change that as well then we can also change the speed of the motor now you are on the lower speed you can see it's just moving very slow now we go on the highest speed you can see it's moving much faster and we can hear the motor inside is moving much faster and it's a little bit louder yeah stop talking a little bit hope you can hear that well i hold it a little bit closer to the microphone yeah i guess you have been able to hear that a little bit it's not super loud but it's definitely can be heard so for sleeping that's definitely uh, no option that doesn't work but uh, the sleep itself it doesn't have the thing yeah all these pictures with the sleep modes yeah it it doesn't have the uh, motor working so that's the good thing sleep mode is definitely totally quiet you have now tried all the sleep modes sleep mode definitely is totally quiet yeah so i'm uh, almost finished now let's go to the final conclusion here yeah so i've uh, turned uh, back on the light a little bit so we can see the device better again uh, so yeah that's it uh, to give you an impression how wide the angle of the projection is i'm going to show you that so you get maybe an idea yeah i would say it's hard to say it, it covers quite a lot when we see uh, I'm not too far away and the range which it covers is already really good it's about I would say 90 degrees angle which it covers so like this around yeah about 90 degrees angle so you can imagine that if you have it like three feet uh, above the ground it should be possible to cover a really nice area so average uh, bedroom size or so uh, definitely is possible we have tested here in this room where i am and this is an estimated maybe 180 square feet and it has been able to cover the whole ceiling when i had it on the sideboard here so yeah uh, it, it's not bad i mean the the style is not super fancy again it has but it has a nice speaker a strong speaker you have basic options here uh, directly on this device we have a tf card reader we have bluetooth we have more, many options i mean it has definitely more options than the one which i already had tested before uh, the light regarding the light yeah maybe i would prefer the other one i think it had a little bit the nicer light but it's difficult to say because yeah it's daylight here a lot i mean it's noon it's difficult to make it totally dark uh, the light is not bad it's more like really these uh, ocean waves instead of starlight but we have these uh, laser points here it gives uh, also the option to have some kind of starlight definitely um, so i think it's a good price uh, at the moment it definitely works we can hear the sound of the motor when it's uh, spinning but i had this uh, same thing also with my first device so i think it's it's a common thing so at this price range you cannot expect that they have these uh, super expensive uh, motors which you cannot hear 
So I would say it's it's a good value. Yeah, why not? So you have seen more or less everything. It's up to you to decide if you want to buy it or not. And we'll put down the link to the Amazon listing down into the description so you can check it out and do whatever you want to do. And I hope I've been able to help you a little bit with this video. If you have any questions or comments, just write to the comment section below. And I'm always happy to talk about these things. And if you like the video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching and see you next time.